Hey, friends, I've put together a memory system, and I wanted to give you a little quick demonstration of how it works to show you just how easy it is to use. I've heard it all my life that people, when it comes to Scripture, they know they've heard things, but they don't know where to find them in Scripture. Hey, this system solves that problem. And I thought it'd be interesting just to show you how it works, but with the book of Amos, and we'll do just the first five chapters, show you how quickly you can memorize and how easy it is to be able to retrieve things. So in chapter one of Amos, the key word or what I call a peg word is aid or the picture of a band-aid. You have a picture of a band-aid here and you can see it. He's setting fire to the walls because in this chapter, four different times, the scripture says, I will set fire upon the house of whoever, different people's house. I will, set the, I will set fire upon your walls. I will set fire upon your walls. He says that four different times. He's talking about judgment is going to come to them. So Band-Aid, fire upon the walls, chapter one. I know it's chapter one of Amos because Band-Aid is my picture for Amos chapter one. The system I have will tell you how, uh, how that is true and how to figure how to know that that is the peg word. In chapter two, it's on, like an awning. Uh, underneath the awning, you see a gavel. That's my picture for judgment. And he's holding three, four fishing reels. Reel is a picture for Israel. And this chapter, and also in chapter one, by the way, he says over and over again, for three sins, even for four. And you'll remember four. He's speaking to Israel. Judgment is not just coming to nations around them, but it's coming to Israel. Chapter three, the key word, the peg word is target. You see the bullseye here and a lion's head coming out of that. And the scripture for this chapter is the lion has roared. I know when I see a picture of a lion roaring coming out of a target, I immediately know that that's chapter three of Amos. It's that simple. Chapter four, the key word is airplane. You see an airplane, hey, he scoops down, he, he snatches a stick out of a fire because in this chapter, what God says to his people is that you were like a burning stick snatched from the fire. <laughs> what a beautiful verse that is. That God, and God does that in our life, doesn't he? Hey, so chapter four, airplane snatch. I know it's Amos chapter four. Chapter five, the key word is alley. In this alley, you see a, a man getting bit by a snake. He's just run from a bear. The verse, check this verse out. This is awesome. He says, I will, it will be as, as if though a man fled from a lion only to meet a bear. And as though he entered his house and rested his hand upon the wall only to have a snake bite him. In other words, you may think you're going to get away from judgment, but hey, just it's going to catch up with you. You can see how easy that is. And so I have these pictures in my mind. So if somebody says, I'm Amos chapter three, I immediately think of aim, the bullseye target. And I can tell you in this chapter, hey, the line has roared. Uh, what an opportunity for you to learn the scriptures. I just want to encourage you to, to purchase some of the material. I'd be more than glad to help you with that. And it'd be a joy, it'd be a great joy to see you learn the scriptures. And, uh, uh, the system is, is available so that you can learn something from every chapter in the Bible. Take advantage of it and pick up a copy today. The Lord bless you. Have a great and wonderful day.